day one of uh, Nemo 19 mission. Uh, we've just gotten underwater today. Uh, we've been down here for about uh, nine hours now at two and a half atmospheres, which means there's no going back. The only way up to the surface is uh, after 16 hours of uh, decompression. So we're here to stay for the uh, next week or so. We've had some uh, familiarization dives today uh, just to get used to the setup. We've had dinner and now we're yeah, just waiting to go to bed and spend our first night in the Aquarius habitat. So what do you guys think? Yeah, really cool. You know, the thing that struck me today was uh, when I left the habitat to go do my first spacewalk, I, uh, it felt different, a little bit more like I belonged uh, on this uh, the surface of the ocean floor, I guess. It just felt different than normally scuba diving down from up above, so that was really cool. We all know how you feel because listening to your voice, it sounds <laughs> a lot different down here at two and a half atmospheres. Yeah, apparently my vocal cords uh, have not adjusted. Your new nickname is uh, Elvin from the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can't believe that we are under the sea. I mean, it's, it's really incredible. I mean, we are going this uh, module that looks like a spaceship. Uh, we are a crew, uh, and, and we do exploration outside. And, and I agree, we are part of it now. We are attached to it, and we, we live with this module together. And that's a strange and amazing feeling. And it's not a bad setup we have down here. We've got a the dining room table, we've got our kitchen, and we've got our uh, workstation over where Randy's sitting. Yeah, we even got the commander. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> the commander at the commander seat. And the crazy part about today was going out of the dive where you were down on the bottom and you didn't have to clear your ears because you were already there. And so that, that was pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. So looking forward to a, a full day of activities tomorrow. All right, so this is one of the funny things that happens at two and a half atmospheres. Evie was just unpacking some of our equipment. This all used to fit neatly in the foam. Now the foam is way too small to hold all of these uh, electronic items. The pressure has just totally shrunk the foam. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> 